alert that we've been following is on the north side where police are searching for the person who shot and killed a man early this morning. He was found on Linton Street behind a car with several gunshot wounds. Took him to the hospital where he died. Channel 4's Bakari Savage joins us live from the scene. Yep. Random or targeted shooting? Bruce, they're still trying to figure that out in this investigation. And, you know, just because we don't have as many detectives out here on the scene right now does not mean that JSO is not working hard behind the scenes to uh, find out who this guy is. You know, we got over here and on our way over here, we came across, you know, multiple JSO cruisers going around the neighborhood trying to figure out who this is, who's responsible for this shooting. Here's what I can tell you. So somewhere between 2 and 2.30 this morning, you have this shooting that happened on Linton Street, right? So this guy, when JSO gets out here, they find this guy in his 30s laying in the road. He had been shot multiple times. The crime markers that you see right there, the evidence markers, um, you know, one can only imagine that those, or rather assume that those are um, from the shell casings from the shooting that happened. Now, in terms of this area and homicides, it looks like this is probably the only homicide in the past six months has been reported in this area. Now, our team took a look at the crime mapping tool. Here's what it looks like. There've been probably about 50 reports of crime in this area. Here's how that breaks down. So we've had 24 assaults, 15 burglaries, five car thefts, and three robberies. Again, that's in the past six months within a half mile of where we are right now. So um, as this investigation continues, JSO um, is going to bring us the latest on this, and we'll get that over to you, of course, on air and online at news4jax.com. Reporting live on the north side, I'm Bakari Savage, Channel 4, The local station.